Hello and good evening. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Couldn't get a game myself tonight, so uh, gonna jump on comms. Paul Cooper against Paul Campling, both recently been moved up to Cat 5. Should be a good, very, very close game. I think they've played once before, and I think Campo, I think Campo edged Cooper out. But Campo on yellows. Should be a good chance here. That works. Probably wouldn't have played the plant personally. So it should be a good start here for Campo. See if he's gonna top it through for bottom right. He's come a bit hot. First, he would have screwed it back, but one good pop. It's a loose one from Campo, that. So, advantage Cooper now, first frame. Either play, play the, uh, the red, what he's playing here, just flick it over at middle bag. I'll put it down to bottom either one, right, really. He's going to have to take this one now to the bottom right. I would like would have liked that red to finish top side at middle bag so he could have dropped it in. Bit of a shot to note this, really. Roll it in, in or over. Right other red into middle left. So I would like to come come a bit lower on that, but gonna have to just dig in, dig in now a bit. Needs a bounce, and he's should be fine with that. Evening Prescott and evening Michael Wadwell. Anyone want a bet? I fancy Paul C to win. Any techers? He's obviously scared of in off here. He He's obviously scared for this in off. Well, he expected him to get them, to be honest. That's 1-0 Campo. Uh, Matt Brook and Shane Usain will just be starting on Levin in a sec. Owen and Jason Bell, table six. That's on already on the way. So some good games on tonight. Yeah, bo both. Well, Campo should have won that frame to start. We give Cooper a chance, and then Cooper should have won it, so. <laughs> over. Prescott, come on, man. I wouldn't even have over 2.5, to be honest. I think over 2.5 is a big ask as well, Prescott. Lee Richardson's looking for um, a bit of a side bet if anyone wants it. So if anyone wants to back Paul Cooper. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry for saying, but you can't get any higher than Cooper's fringe. It's on back of his head, near his neck. Yeah, that's a uh, bit of control in this frame now. 
Yeah, Matty, it's me, mate. I can talk about pool, I can't play it. Nice double, but we might just flick this yellow what's tied up to red towards bottom more. No, if he digs here, he could get into, could have played Skilly then. Yeah, he could have played Skilly then, I think. Mate, you've never actually backed against me, mate. You backed me, but never backed against me. <laughs> you would have been better off backing against me, to be honest. And that should be that frame. That's come out as good as it could have come out, to be fair. Got to judge this yellow now to get onto other. Shouldn't be a problem though. Should be able to judge this now. You won't. You won't back against me, mate. That's how I know. It. Forward black, and he's hit that low. Bit of a bit of a loose one there. Yeah, to be fair, he, it's a good shot. Might just have to lay up here behind this red. Uh, yeah, it will play. It will fly in. It will fly in. Um, obviously we, that's a good shot um, good evening Chris but yeah his manner were flying and then he's he, he hasn't been playing as much that's his problem uh, not left the easiest of blacks but you'd expect Campo to nail this He has good block there from Campo. So yeah, Coop, Cooper played a couple of good shots there, and then he missed that just the last ball again. So just needs to get his composure, and yeah, it should be a close game, I think. But I do fancy Paul C to win. But at this like low five, high six level, Campo is one of one of the best money match players in here for that for that level. He's played hundreds of matches and just don't really phase him to be honest. But a dry breath there, chance on reds here for the dish. Good start up. Landed shallow on these two bottom balls, so should be able to take these two out and work his way up. The only real problem balls the one near the black, really. It's just getting on it. Obviously, it goes in both middles. Just land, landing down that either side of it. Well, he's got a very good chance here at dish. Needs to tap this one first into to bottom right. What ca Campo was on your list, Matty? Who, who was that kid you played Turner uh, over day at um, Q Rooms? You play you play for like four hundred quid or something.
Oh yeah, no, I have to. I, I didn't even know what you're on about them pesco. Yeah, that, that sound, that's good to know. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say we're rubbish, but I was gonna say we're a bit of a, a one-sided game. But I, I've just missed the action then reading comments, but he's done well to get up there for these reds because he, he was pretty straight on that one bottom left. I've missed how he got onto it, but. It seemed like he wanted in the best place. See, he's going to have to try and... I think if he digs here, he can play into yellow. If he plays full ball into yellow, he's got a chance. But it's far from easy. Evening, Stevie B. How are you today? Tell you what, he's been up. He's been unlucky there because if he hits the yellow to right at black full in face, he's got a shot. But it's still early days, things aren't going Cooper's way so far. Both just settling into the game. So how are you getting these games, Matty? Cost like I don't even know that guy, and you're getting these four hundred quid pots. Against people who, <laughs> who shouldn't even really be playing you. So Campo just laying up here, but it's a bit of a loose, and he's left it into the top top left. But I suppose it, it, it might just lay. He won't even go for this because you can't really get into the block unless you stun across. All right, but you'll have no mates left at work if you keep taking the full, the money off them. Should be a, an easyish escape for him. But he's trying to keep finding himself in a bit of trouble in this frame now. I think he, could, he, he needed that to stay up. To be honest put this red in a potable position then. Not the worst place for it, but it's not the best. You only want five, Nate. I thought you'd want seven. Might have left an edge on this as well. If he hadn't left an edge, though, it's an horrible one. This could be... He needs to dig because it's close to an off. Yeah. Needs to get that melon out at camera. But yeah, the, these are there now for Campo. He just wants to shite you, doesn't he, Nathan? That's why he's not responding to you, mate. So, yeah, just drop drop this in. Drop the other one in the middle. And you sh Ooh. Just try to nick a bit to hold a bit easier, but didn't really need to. Not much Cooper can do here, apart from send it round angles like that. Oh, if it gets... <laughs> if it had the legs, it were in. They were in then. But he has put one of Campos in a less... Uh, <laughs> Tommy's looking smart. Well, oh, yeah, he's on table nine. You'll, you'll, you'll see the legend what's Tommy Hamilton every so often onto, onto it left. Campos made it worse for himself. Does double, though, if he... In fact, he's got a nice angle to finish top side of it. Be a straightforward double this, really. Chose to test his cue in for a long un. Yeah, Tommy got a game. I don't know what. I, I vaguely know the lad he's playing, but I'd say <laughs> if I didn't know who we were playing, I'd probably say we're underdogs. But look, he's a he's a nice enough kid, isn't he? 
He tries. He's come out of retirement for this game. Not a good white. Campo might just nudge this up to the top bag and leave him over at left-hand side at table. Well, he's blocked the pot. Sam Cooper and Polly just trying to flip. What's my tea? Um, I had some grilled chicken and a bag of like mixed veg from uh, from Wait Wait Rose of all places. Just sipping lime and water behind here. No fizzy pop. My doctor sent me a message today saying I need to lose weight. The general eye scans back. At, um, not exactly what he said, but he's something like keep up the weight loss or something. I thought, cheers, mate. Great pot. Unfortunate, but he's left himself a shot. Top bag or middle. I'd fancy top. Ooh, White's in. No. Good effort. But he had to, to be a bit snatchy just to do, avoid double it there. So, yeah, just drop this in. These are ones he's normally good at, just dropping them in. He's missed that. So far, it's not going well for him. Yeah, they are tricky when they're dead straight on jaws like that. It's awkward, and it? He just had to roll it in, but 3-0 Campo. Um, So, Nate, this is what my doctor said. He said, oh, they've logged me out. Great. Hi, Joshua. I have referred you back to Mr. Cohen with your new MRI. Keep working hard on your weight loss. Good luck, mate. Cheers. Not like a, I wore on a weight loss journey, but they obviously had said, uh, basically saying, keep going, you need to do it. Oh, yeah, Nate. Um, <laughs> I just realised, yeah, he's on Facebook. Uh, Matty, Matty uh, Nate Prescott's on YouTube. We were trying to speak to you about something, but he thought you were ignoring him, but obviously you can't see on Facebook his comments. Meadow read off the break there. And to be fair, red, reds are the best colour set as well, if you can get a starter. That yellow don't go down the the yellow on the right the right cushion don't go past that red I don't think. No, just saying he wants you again, Matty. Um, he wants six to seven. But he thought you were ignoring him because you were trying to trying to shark him. He's gonna have to play the red is next to and just try and get it into the bottom left. I think. Want an easy starter, that was the problem. All depends if Campo can cut cut the one near the top right bag. If not, it might it might just go yellows. Yeah, no, he's re he realised that's why he went. Nah, Matt, you're better than Nate Prescott, Matt. Definitely. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Prescott were good 12 years ago when he had air. Since he's lost his air, he's not been the same player. <laughs> I'll just say, I'll just, I just had a look at table 11 and Matt Brooks got a red t shirt on. I thought, I swear to God, I thought it was Tommy Hamilton. <coughs> <coughs> what cat's Prescott? Um, 
There used to be a cat worn at. He used to be a cat worn. Then he went to two. I think he's in seven now. He might be in six. I'm not sure. He's had a massive fall from grace. I played him for money not long back and beat him. And that's an actual true story. And we played off scratch. And when I say he played off scratch, he did. But he did play one-handed. And I think I beat him in a decider. So, yeah. And I think he used my break cue as well. Break cue one-handed. So Nath can beat me one-handed, and Charlie can beat me left-handed. Actually, I beat Charlie 5-1 last time I played him left-handed. But to be fair to him, Charlie Charlie left-handed can play to, like, a cat 5 standard. Other week he was playing left-handed. He went break dish, reverse dish, back-to-back. -back. Ridiculous. Which one, Chris? Which one are you? Matty Turner for me. I'd say Matty were too good for me, if I'm being honest. Yeah, Cooper's just not on it with these pots so far today. He's got a decent white, though, there. I don't think there's a pot, a, a clean pot for Campo. If that yellow goes through the middle of him, he's been unlucky. Well, he obviously, he could get through it. <laughs> I generally didn't think he could get through there. Got him stretching, though, for this. See, Cooper's got his lucky red socks on tonight. I said, said you can't be wearing them on stream. You, you've lost before you've already turned up. Evening, James Mills. Cat 5 Shark. Nice use of the rest. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we're on. Yeah, enjoy, Nath. I'll send you that brass over tonight or something. I forgot about it. I should have given you it overnight when I saw you. So far, this has been a... Probably see you before, unfortunately. Just got to avoid canning into one of these top reds up at top. Can avoid one of these is all right. Still got a shot at it. But yeah, you have to thread the needle to get through between them both. He's missed that. That's two blacks. He's missed low. Obviously, Cooper's got <laughs> some very bad balls here, but pretty sure he'll just pot this, go up table, and hide. Better result, really. He's even got control up bag now. We aren't even having to pot it. It's a good line. But it's probably gone worse for him. But it's a good hit. Bit of a free shot here to get your back one of your bad ones down like that. Yeah, I think Campo's just gonna give this a whack. He's done well not to disturb the red. I thought it were bound to disturb the red. I think Cooper will just Pot this top bag and sneak behind the one on rail. I'll be on all night, mate. I've, I've come through with Cooper. I tried to get a game done, but I just got a load of abuse instead. 
Yeah, posting for a game tonight and uh, got about 60 comments and not one offer of a game from a Cat 7. I like mint. That was snap cheek. But no shot for Campo, really. He's got a very, well, very slidey double into middle bag. He ain't got enough angle. Oh, it's a big bag at top left, but he can't, he, can, he can't get that black through off the red on rail down there. Like I said, James, I didn't get any sensible offers, and that's not a sensible offer. Yeah, again, he's got a bit of a free shot. Play this, black, and then just don't leave the block. As long as they don't leave the black into the bottom right, it's pretty, pretty grand here, really. Personally, I think he'll just pop this in middle and then bring other red off. Play a free double, maybe. A bit of a free double here. Or he might just get it off and tap behind it like that. Yeah. I like that shot. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> oh. When you looks out, you looks out. <laughs> he just said he didn't mean to hit it like that. He meant to hit it full ball first time. Well, there's no worse. You play it right shots. You uh, you play the safety correctly, percentage play, and then you get punished for playing it. He apologised straight away. But when it's going your way, it's going your way, and you it, it soon evens itself out, doesn't it? So that's a good block. Whoever's just potted that. Oh, in hand. Yeah, it's getting a, an hard ass now for Cooper. He needs to get one on board pretty quick. And he's got a good chance here. We're another dry break from Campo. Oh, you thought you were hearing voices again? Demo, go away. I'm going to block you off chat, in fact. Can't cope with you tonight. There's only one Cooper allowed on, and that's Paul tonight. I'm only messing, Demo. I won't block you, really. But yeah, just the black's the problem here. <laughs> That's why I unblocked you because you would come club and I, c I can cope with you through a, a message. In person, you're even worse. We might just have to take his medicine on this black and try and leave it into the middle. Land low on it. Yeah, pot this. Yeah. Pot, pot this. Other red into the left. Top through and leave black into the middle. Or he could have gone that way and screwed into it. Demo, don't come, mate. Don't waste your fuel, mate. Not for my sake, it's for your own sake. Just stay at home. Have, have an early night, a cup of tea and some biscuits in bed. Yeah, I like that shot. Nice little angle here to play the middle. Mm, I don't think it will play the middle yellow. I'll play the outside like that, but yeah, there was no need to really play. But I saw the aggressive shot get the black out. 
Oh, Bobby, don't waste poor Bobby's fuel. And that's wide. Honestly, Damo, you deserve a night in, mate. No point you coming to the club. Obviously, we'd love love you to be in club, but you deserve get a nice face mask on, a couple of bit, bits of cucumber on your eye, and just have a nice chill night. I think the shot here for me is black black onto yellow. Oh, if you're at work, you're more than welcome to come. Bring me a prashad. Yeah, bring us a prashad. I'll, uh, one of those paneer masala things. Not come out the best, but obviously not come out the worst neither. Yeah, play this in top, top through. Drop this in. Oh no, he's having to. Gonna have to come round the angles. And that's short. Obviously, the the outside yellow didn't pass. Double to win the frame. Might have left a thin cut into the middle. Bit of a shot to nothing if he has. Only problem is you're not going to get position. Unless you play it confident, you're not going to get position on black. Double. That's a very good double. When it's not off your way, they, they're what you need to do to get yourself on board. So Cooper gets his name on the score sheet. Well, hopefully that'll settle him and we can have a good game. Any, um, does anyone in chat want a bet on Seamus Tui's game? I forgot. I forgot this started. I'll take Seamus plus thirteen. <laughs> if anyone wants, if anyone wants Steve. Split, but the white is in. Depends. Depends if those two reds plant at the bottom. I'd probably, I'd probably be tempted to go reds if that's the case. Tricky, tricky this table at the moment. Could waste a shot and get one of these yellows out here. Got to be precise on the other one over the other side on the right rail. Well, looks like it'll be yellows for Campo. Yellows for Campo then. Just about landing nice, the one, the one on the right rail. Drop this one in. You can get across now, if he avoids in or. Well, just left a double by the looks of it.
very double kissy to me, that. Yeah, so he's cha changed his route here. <laughs> now, I think Cooper will hide behind the two reds at the bottom. Oh, he might try and get behind the one on the right at the top. Just to guarantee it, I think he's uh, part of that just to guarantee to get on these two. I think he's got to go now. I think he's got to go. But nudging that onto top, top cushion has not helped his cause. And he's wrong side as well. He might play down now. Might play onto low balls and have to go back up for that. Is that if the if the if the red's not touching cushion, I, I think that's what he's saying. He's just gonna flick flick behind the other red. I think that's the shot. As long as he hasn't left the one on the right hand side, he's in a good spot. And he has left it. And that's a great pot. Yeah, normally he gets those snookers. That's normally his game, really. But just not on it tonight so far. Yeah, I think he was strugg struggling to avoid a bit of contact. But top left. That's a good pot. So, very good start from Camplin tonight. So, current scores are Matt Brook minus one, Shane Hussein three. Um, Matt started on minus two. It wasn't it won't supposed to be that, but it started on minus two. Steve Juaz is 6 0 up against Seamus. Surprise, surprise. Owen and 5 2 up against Jason Bell. Obviously, this is 5 1. And Tommy Ambutton and Lee Barnes is 2 2. So, another dry break from Campo there. Reds, it'll be if he drops this in the middle. Not the best of layouts now, but I think he'll just pop this red bottom left, then he might play the other red into the black bag, but just obviously in art, just to play it over to cover black bag, really. But no, he's just going to stick him behind yellow. Smart little shot. Didn't try and force anything. Yeah, if Campo puts him towards black, I don't think the red goes into middle, so if he just flicks him towards black, as long as he don't go in off, he's all right. Obviously, the problem's hitting the cushion. That's his issue here. He might just give him a whack. Similar shot he'll play here, I think. Yeah, develop that ball, leave him bo on bottom. Might have left him one into the middle here, but it's a tricky pot. If he gets it, fair play. Good effort. Oh, depends if this red, he can play cushion first behind black. Yeah, that's that'll do him. But can Campo slide this yellow now? Yeah, this is the shot. Campo's got the control now. I think Cooper's got to be aggressive. I think he's got to pot this and get, and then play it red off yellow. 
Uh, he's not moving that then. Obviously, he thinks he's got enough control with covering Black. Killed one of his yellows. I'm all for skilly here, personally. Guessing Campo's just going to get uh, get this yellow away from there. Nudge it over middle bag. I think Cooper's just going to put this over top right. Yeah, I didn't think he'd go for it. It's a bit of a mistake from Campo, I think. I think that was the ball that was saving him. It's skilly on that yellow onto red, last ball. Or is the black black in the way slightly? He had a go at that, but that's touching ball. Look, it looks touching on here to be fair. So he's just gonna stick it well. He don't wanna he does he doesn't want to go near the black and leave that yellow up to the top right. Ideally, he wants to be behind the black. But at the same time, <laughs> you don't want to leave that yellow into the top. So that ball's saving you. Obviously, black, black don't go in there neither, but you don't want to leave him, leave him a chance, really. All depends if this is a touching ball, really, what he does. You could see one into the top bag, he'd take that, so obviously he can't. Yeah, I like that. But obviously he's left this shot. Campo takes this bag now. No. Come away from come away pretty early that. I think the shot for Cooper, he's double that red down towards black bag. Depends how brave it is. A lot of players would take the one over the black, pop the one over the black bag, and have a go at them, really. But when it's uh, not off your way, obviously you have doubts. But yeah, that's the way he's off. It's a good first shot. It's a good second shot. I think he's got to take the one over at bag first. I think you've got to dig and go for, get onto one at top. Or oh, you could play it now. In or over, he'll be thinking. He's got up that quick, but he's potted it. Depends how straight he is, he'll have a screw back or play it with a bit of left hand side and come round. To me it looks like he'd be able to st stunt just like soft screw off the cushion and pop out, stun it across. That's short. I think he's a bit frustrated now. I think he'll just try and nudge this over. It's 
good wide though. Obviously, Campbell loses a bit of control, not being able to see bottom at ball. Yeah, slid off his tip a bit. All depends if this yellow goat. Yeah, let's play this outside yellow, black bag. Shot for shot to nothing there. So total might have to have a whack at this red to be honest. Because you fancy wherever this white is, Campo's gonna have a pot on yellows. Might be time to try and make a ball here. Kill these reds. I thought that's what he'd do. I thought he'd just tap him up behind that block. If there's ever a time to knock it off jaws, this is the time. Unless you fancy it triple. I think three times across, you're too near to middle bag. With that yellow, yellow near black spot, I don't think that's not, that's on the line for the triple. You'd have to come so close to yellow. Land bottom side at middle bag jaw. Yeah. He just lands below the middle bag. Seven nil, Steve Juaz. Not how we played it, but it's come out plumb. back for Cooper. But as we all know in money matches, it can soon soon change. Another dry break. Got to be reds for Campo. Or not. Really left out here for Cooper though, that's the problem. And that's why in. So it's still an open table. Might try and get these reds now, to be honest. <laughs> They've come out. Not the best with the red next to black. Everything else is there, so it's only one good shot to develop it. Got the 
black out, but not the red. And he's put himself in trouble. First shot's got to get these, in these two yellows. How's your look? Not the best. Look, there's a finish still there for him. Yeah, take this one in or over. At least it makes the black tricky. Yeah, Campo has got to fire this in now. He's off of the one top right. He's got a fat. Proper stun this across. So drop drop this in bottom right and then play play the one next to the red in tip top right. Evening was it? No, I couldn't get a game. I posted for a game last week, but I got just got a load of abuse and no game. Standard, really. Campo just tried tying black up then, I think. Cooper's got to play bottom right, and he's just got the yellow. The yellow, what's next to it red? He's got to play into the top right. In or over, and you can't really lose frame. So if you do pot it, you're on on straight into the middle, middle again, and then finishes there. What do you reckon to manage Red Sox, Waza? Gives Campo a chance to get this bad red out, and he could even play and get black out at the same time. Nice, no, tied back up, but he's tied it up this time. So Cooper's in no rush here to get this frame. He's got a fair bit of control. I'm still playing this, this yellow over bag and taking that one to the top. Because whilst that yellow's over, yeah, it was. <laughs> I would. Uh, he's leaving a big bag, you see, for the one near middle. If Campo gets chance, he can. Yeah, if Campo gets chance and plays this red down into this big bag, like I think he's gonna have a go now. <laughs> As I said earlier, Pete, I got I got no serious offers. I got sharks and abuse, that's it. He's got he's just got to play this one over at bottom right. He's got to play the shot to top back. Not look, it's not come out great for him, but he can play play plant. And you're not really leaving a shot. Play that nice. Not one cat's ever no Pete offered me a game, did they? Right. As long as this red don't go below yellow into bottom bag, Cooper's massive favourite. Just nudge this over at bag. If you're not confident on pot to hold for other one. Yeah. As long as you didn't leave big bag double for red next to yellow. <coughs> you were golden. 
to there for next time. But as Campo did earlier, Cooper looked in control and he uh, one whack and they were in. Let's put it in trouble that side now. I'd expect Cooper to get these every time, but obviously the way things are going, he's he'll be doubting himself in his head at the moment, so he's got to play one good positional shot. That's what I mean, he's just just really not on it tonight. Not the easiest of finishes with two here. First, I'd play red on red on to yellow, and then play position between the red and the black, uh, the yellow and the black. Sorry to to leave that red into middle. Yeah, he's just not on it as he was. You know yourself, it, he's normally pretty good, but. The confidence just in there, and he played yesterday against Jimmo and said he didn't really miss a ball. He played feeling good. That's a nice shot. But you know yourself, when uh, you get off to a bad start, it's in your head and it niggles at you. You lose your confidence. Don't back yourself on shots you you normally get. A bit like Campo there, he's just not just not committed to the shot, but he's only left a double here. And uh, to be honest, to be honest, I don't think. I don't even think the double's there. It's too tight at black. That's a smart shot. Better shot from Cooper. Obviously, it's um, you'd expect Campo to hit this, but look, used his head there. No, he's yeah. That's it, Mills. We all have days like that. <coughs> we all have days where you just think, like, I can't play full. But there's days you just don't miss as well, so happens to us all at this level. Yeah, I fully expected Campo to hit that red then, but it was a good shot from Paul to see that because a lot of us would think, right, that red's over at bag, and we'd all we'd all just try and bang that red in, triple, double, whatever. We try and force it, won't we? Thinking, well, he's going to get this red in it. Yeah, he worked it out well. Got his reward. Oh, you were here. I thought I was going to get into the fans want to speak to him on the mic. Is he back down there now? Yeah. No, they didn't realize I was going to get him to speak to the fans. Yeah, your, your dad's terrible. No, he's playing well. Sorry, I missed the action. I was just speaking to Lexi. Um, Cooper's on yellows, though. Would have been Campo's break, so I'm guessing, a, yeah, dry break. Yellow into middle. It's a better pot. I'm guessing I'm guessing he couldn't get reds then off the off the dry break because reds look pretty good from here but I didn't see the layout. I'm 
I've got to take the top right now. Whilst you're on it. Good pop. Just, just think he's going to struggle to get, <coughs> <coughs> to get on that top right yellow. Got a stun across here. Now, he is in a nice position to get on it. And that's why I didn't take it first time, because I knew we were going to land like this. Could be on it now, but... Just got to screw up the line, on it. Obviously, didn't trust his cue in how he's playing, but yeah, he's just le he's left the shot. Smart play, really. Took his medicine. Problem is, he's... He's off into that red and I'm needs to put a bit of side on to throw it away, get it out from behind other yellow to leave a shot on black. No, that was a problem. They're always struggling for that white to come out. They're always just gonna stop it dead, but Look, the black's not dead anyway. It's, it's there for him if he uh, if Campo makes a mistake. But these are frames where Campo, with his old head on him, these are frames he loves, really. But they are there as well. Do you know what I mean? They are. I wouldn't surprise me if he just goes for these, to be honest. Just got to get on the one at the bottom. That's the only problem, really. Probably the way things are going, he probably will have a go at these. Unless he runs out of position. Yeah, it's all about just getting on this bottom ball, really. And don't want to go behind that red. He's left it into the bottom, though. Be pretty straight, I'm guessing. Just stun it in. Now there's a fair bit of angle on it, actually, by the looks of it. Yeah, just that one loose positional shot then. But it's not like he's left a nice block, is it? Just needs to avoid hitting that red. If he does pot it, the in off off that red. Yeah, Campo, just try and play this in our over. And we got the over. Double top bag. I think that's your only one, Cooper. Ooh, it went out. Well, it's a good thing it didn't go in, but good effort. I'm just messaging some of them, but six three. Claw his way back in two in a row. Didn't see what happened there, to be honest. I was just messaging someone um, with ball in hand with those reds, expecting him to get them, but yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just watch it back on my phone whilst he's racking up. No, uh, I looked away a minute and Cooper had a block. So I mean, it's uh, swings and roundabouts, isn't it? 
There we go, I missed the double. Went in off. That's Campo, don't waste three shots. Campo, yep. Played, yep. Played a good first shot. And then missed plant, right. And Cooper now the long block. So this will be Cooper's dry break. Missed it. So Campo yellows. And again, he's got one bad ball here. One bad ball to get out. Well, he's got two, including black. But you fancy if you get the yellow, the bad yellow out, you get the bad, you get the bad, the bad black out as well. But I like the vision there. <laughs> Good bit of vision that. But obviously, it didn't come off. Well, dude, just drop this in and leave a thing for on bottom one to get into him. Like that, well, works out as good. A bit closer for you. Touch your, uh, touch your right hand side. Come out as good as it could have come out. Good shot, really. Have you left a block? Thing cut. Thought I would have thought I would have tried to cut that into middle bag. Obviously not easy for Cooper. Try and get behind this red like that. That's a good shot. Very good shot there. Not an easy one to get out of this for Campo. Tricky, tricky, tricky one to get out of that. Burn. These are what you like in practice. A load of reds out in the open. All about your cue ball in it. Control and composure. This in middle, opposite middle. Work your way down bottom three. Yeah, that's fine. Just about which way you want to go on these bottom three. Firstly, I drop this in, take the left hand ball, one in middle, one in bottom right. But it might take it might take the one into the right now. Then land, land, go in between the reds and land on either one. He didn't want to be short. Sarcastic tap at table. It's a good recovery though. Finish, he would have really expected to get that every time. Now he's got a, a tricky pot. What's not guaranteed to get on the black? It's an hard, hard one, this. Yeah, just that one one shot. I put, I, personally, I wouldn't have gone that way. I would have gone left and one, one into middle, one into bottom right. Maybe it, it just it thought, oh, it's a bit... It, well, obviously, it's a trickier pot, the one into the middle, but it would just for me, it was just easier with cue ball. It would just... You are just doing drop, dropping them in, really. The way he went, obviously, it makes that first pot. He's got a choice of balls, so... But to me, it was just a bit of an harder way to go, because obviously, you could be short with cue ball, or you could be too strong. It's one of my problems, really. I try and... Uh, 
move the white too much when you don't need to. It's an hard pot, this. But there's again, there's no safety, so he's got he's got to go for a pot. He's got to go for it. I think I, th I think if you miss it though, I don't think you're leaving yourself a nice black. It's a great pot, great pot. Don't know what all the fuss were about. <laughs> nah, he's controlled that well. Because I thought he was going to top it through and go around angles with white, just for a bit of insurance if you go long. Oh, fuck, I missed near side. You know, 6 4 game on now. I can say he's took them out, but it'll be a bit frustrated he hadn't took them out easier. Oh, Seamus has got one on board. It's 9-1 now. Whoever said he whoever said he couldn't win, beat Steve, you're wrong. He's on comeback. Tommy's in a good game as well. 4-5, Tommy's game. Shane, 6-1 up against Brooke, who started minus 2. Owen and 7-4 against Jace Bell. Apart from the Seamus game, there's some decent games on by the looks of it. Seamus plus 13 is looking good. He just needs one more now before Steve wins six. So, another dry... <laughs> we've had a few dry breaks between them, these lads. Uh, it's at four o'clock. I, I thought it were at five, me personally, but um, it's at four. They put it on the other day, so quite an early one, really, but Arena will be up. It'll be, um, I think both sets both sets of lads are bringing a lot of people with them, so that's a ni nice shot. Bit of bottom left. He's topping through, leaving one long run, I'm guessing. That's a better pot for him. Drop this in, I think. Just got to find that gap now between the yellow and black to leave this red. Just a touch of left hand side, I think he needs. It's not easy because he'd want to play into the yellow. What's next? Obviously, just above middle bag. Yeah, he's struggling, I think. Yeah, that was a problem. He just had to fought. He was so scared of not getting on that red. I think he would have wa he wanted to play into the yellow. But obviously, he couldn't really hit bottom at ball where he wanted. Bit of a loose one from Campo, that. You coming? Are you, you, you coming through? Out you was for Robbie's game. I think you'll be able to see this red. Oh, good white there. All right, Tommy. Fans want to speak to you. I've got to say to fans. Yeah, you're all pigeons. Words of wisdom from Tommy Amberton. You're, you are all pigeons. But Campo, that one, a pigeon shot. That were a good double. Give yourself a good chance now from here. A 
honestly, originally I thought it was six, then I thought it were five, and now it's four. It's a bit early with me from work, really. Obviously, Campo didn't have enough angle, and you fancy getting down on that one. Smart shot. One thing I will say about Campo, he does know when to shut up shop, when not to go for a finish. But I think Cooper's pretty good at that as well. I think they both know when to turn a finish down, to be honest. They don't really go chasing rainbows like some of us. Campos turned to it a bit of a... Oh, Jimo's here. Jim Bob. That's a very good shot. That's a very, very, very good shot. Nicely done. So yes, six five from six one. So game game on now. It's mental what a couple of frames does to you. Once you get settled in, it just it changes so much. Been working, Jimo. Try something different for break. On Knight's nice Rugrat. Nice. Ever call me a Rugrat again? Working hard as usual, Jim Bob, aren't you? There you go. We change camera and he makes a ball off wreck. Both got the same problem ball, but reds are not too bad because they can get into it first shot. Been a bit unlucky, really, but you can play this top left. Rugrat. <laughs> I love Rugrat. He <laughs> comes up with some rake things, Jimmo. I thought that were going to take then. Honestly, I genuinely thought that red were going to drop. He knows he had a good chance for dish. He's still, he's still favourite, really, because... Yeah. That's unlucky. It's always the case when you put a bit of side on, it's a ball full in face. Spin takes it in. But look, could, could be 6-6 six, six this. Ten one to Steve Juaz. Seamus <laughs> Seamus is evaluating his life, sat down thinking. I did get told not to take this day at game, but I didn't listen. I'm not sure why Cooper didn't just play that the pot the yellow. Pot pot the yellow into middle and leave yourself on that red what he's playing now. But obviously, he's made it easy if he does get this ball. What well, he has, but he's hampered himself again. But he should be able to get a good stroke on this, I think. Got to pot it. That's a good pot. Oh, I thought he had that. Well, it's still in control because this yellow doesn't go in either bot bag at the bottom now. Shaw Campo pot this and look for somewhere to hide up at top, maybe. Less fancy a skilly now, but I think he'll just try and play behind these two yellows at top now. You gotta be accurate though, because uh, with balls over bags you you expect Cooper to hit one of them. Might have left the one down middle, but it's cover he's done well to cover both packs pockets now I must not be able to see because he's tapping table I oh know he can't say I'm sure he can play plant here bit like that
push him first now, Cooper. Push him first, you have to do it with white. Well, he doesn't have to go for it, does he? He's got that insurance to where that yellow is. You just give Campo a chance to put you back in that same snooker again. I'll play that plant. Didn't see that, to be honest. Campo going to try and take control though with this but he thought he might play the yellow in or over down to the bottom right, but he might be seeing J rainbows here. Yeah, I thought I thought he'd just take this bag. Good pace, good shot. I think Cooper's just gonna have to get this red out. Just get the red out, you're a turn ahead then. He's got to use a shot then to get that yellow out. If you get your red out before the yellow. Or play that world of a shot and just hope this yellow doesn't go below red into opposite bag. Take some doing with ink jaws here, not to, to snooker him. Yeah, we're always going to take some doing. Obviously, the yellow didn't go past the red. Oh. Cooper's got this into the middle, I think, or the top. Neither one. Top right is off, I think. Top left, and he nailed it. It's a good pot. Yeah, a good shot. Good shot where he put the uh, the white to leave Campo no shot. He's not happy with that, but. Should be getting these blacks. No, it's not the easiest on cushion, but should be na nailing these at his level. Don't know what's all the fuss about. Six, six, game on. Proper game on now. Mental is pull. Six one down, Cooper didn't look like he was going to get a look in. It looked, honestly, it looked like it was going to be quite one sided, but dug in. That's it. Six six. Got it just in time. Campo's bricks killing him at the moment. Must be red. Must be off. Just those two reds didn't clump there. What's the problem? See if he's on it now. What? <laughs> it looked like he went through it yellow, that. Campo off the red, maybe? No, he's played the plant. Again, same way what happened with Cooper earlier. Now he's lost uh, five in a row. I think it is. Yeah, five in a row. He'll be, he'll, he'll be, he'll be questioning himself. Campo probably. Right there, just put that yellow safe. Killed the yellow with the black. He just it's that it plays on your head, but he can get it out here straight away. Play straight into it. And he's in off. That's what I mean. That's what it's a momentum game. Two massive momentum swings in this game so far. Ooh, does that red go by the yellow? That's a mistake, I think, from him. If he pots that, he's a big favourite for the frame. 
but it is a big bag for him now, so it might work out this. Good shot. Bit of left hand side. You've got to play this off the big bag and open it back up. That's a good shot. If he's on this red, well, he might not be. Been fairly unlucky there, to be honest. A ball roll more from Yella, and he's plum, really. That's a good shot, though. Might have been better that staying over at bag, to be honest. Uh, Robbie, I think he got a bet on. I think he got one on. He had a tenner with me anyway. He asked me at the start. He said, oh, I said it's not a, a game I'd really want to back on, to be honest. It's not a game. But he got a tenner with me. I think Prescott had a tenner. He might. After, after this frame, I'll ask him for you, Rob. But I think he'll be happy with his 20 on, to be honest. Now then, can he see the bottom, the one over the bag? Is he be an easier one than the one what he's going to be amp? No, he can't, obviously. Just the amper in here makes this hard. Yeah. He just makes contact with that and puts it in or over. Wins the frame. Yeah, the only the only tricky ball there is really the black now. Yeah, Cam Campo's been a bit hesitant now. He's just second guessing himself a little. Looked quite settled and composed early on, but just started to guess himself a little bit. The wheels are falling off a of Campo at the moment. Obviously, he's a bit of a shot to nothing. He hadn't really left much here. I think Cooper can just glance off this red and stick it behind it. Oh, he's off at cut. Tell you what, decent effort. Got a little bit lucky with it off jaw, but thought he might have just uh, flicked off that red and stuck it behind it. Depends what Campo can do getting on this block. Good evening, Jay. How are you? Tried to play into it. Not, not done it. It's one of them now. Are you, you thinking, oh, That's wide. Where's the black? <laughs> Cooper doing a little dance. Yeah, just play this thin. It's all right. It goes, but he's not happy. Oh, that's you and Jim are working nights. At least you do work, lads. So, just be a sec. I'm just going to ask uh, Lee if he wants a bet with you, Robbie. Just be back in a sec.
There you go, Robbie. There's 25 if you want it. Just put it in chat if you want to confirm it, Rob. When I went down there, Campo said, whatever anyone wants to lay, I'll lay it. <laughs> so Campo says he'll lay anything if anyone wants a bet in chat. Obviously confident on himself still. Even though it's not off his way. He's lost seven fr uh, six frames. Red, these reds look nice. These reds do look nice. Uh, let's see, yeah, Jay. Uh, ro see what Robbie puts. If Rob Robbie will take it, I think. I'd be confident it'll take it. No, Damo, I've already had Paul C to win me, mate. Took these out, all right. Yeah, um, Robbie says he'll take bets. He'll take the 50. 25 with Jay and 25 with Lou. Yeah, I'm sorting these bets out. Yeah, line walk, please. Right, bets are all on now, sorted. So Robbie's got 25 on with Jay and Lee. We'll go top down for this Campo break. And 
that's a good split. Reds it'll be. If the plant goes, the two if the two reds plant goes, good chance of a dish because black goes. Good chance if that plant if the plant goes, it's a very good chance this for Campo. Lost seven frames in a row and then no better way of breaking it with a dish. I'm not sure if it goes, I'm not he's gonna have to does not sure if it goes, it flies in. That's missed. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie can stop anything. <laughs> I'm I, was I, I, I've got a conspiracy theory that Robbie backed um, El Fabiolo. He backed Shiskin when it pulled up after three fences. I know that. So it won't surprise me if he backed El Fabiolo. It make a lot of sense. Because he stops trains. There's a bit of a spring in Cooper's step now. He's swagging a bit now. Just The confidence is back. Massive momentum game, this. It's a great hit from Campo, though. Not really, we like, would like to come out a bit further to leave one into bottom left, but I think he's got to kind of got to be brave and play this. Cushion first off the red, good shot. Yeah, he's confident. Look, when he was six one down, he looked like he um, was struggling, really struggling. moaning about that. He ain't happy, but he can screw bottom side of it or play, play it through to top and get play it into bottom. One good pot. I know it's not as easy as he wanted it, but these are the shots that win your matches. You got a, these are the ones you just got to stun in. He's fuming. He's absolutely fuming. I thought I, I did think that we're going to drop, if I'm being honest. Could be a big momentum swing, that. 9-6 down to... He's already put it on. Be a big, big, big momentum swing that. Get in, my handicap bet one with Seamus. Plus 13, 11, 2. Get in. Matt Brook, who started on minus 2, is 8 2 down to Shane Hussein. Tommy's, Tommy's won 5 frames, he's 9 5 down. It's a shame that ain't on stream, to be honest. See if Cooper can make a ball off this break. Ooh. And that's dry. So I lost my mouse then. I like to say reds are big, big favourites here, but it's only one skilly into yellow to pot the red. That's saying if you don't get them. Nice flick there. I 
think Campbell was going to play off this red and teal. I thought he would have played off red and yellow. The red over middle bag could come into play for Campo, to be honest. Obviously, he's in control at pocket, but. He's obviously worried about it, playing it then. He's obviously worried about that ball. Cushion first here again, off the red. Good shot, really, that. Obviously, he's wanted to take the bag, but also wanted to put Campo in this bit of trouble here. Awkward queuing to go up and down. It's a good return from Campo. Cooper will just flick off this yellow, I'm guessing, send it up table. And for him. Gives Campo a chance to get this red out. Ooh. Got away with that, not dropping, I think. It's hard to see who's favourite in this frame, to be honest. Obviously, Campo's only just got to play a red and knock into the yellow, and he's uh, they're there for him, but the more balls he pots to try and do it and misses, it gets harder. That's one chance gone. And then look at these yellows if you don't get them. Needs it to go. Yeah, is he going to get? Yeah, that. that's what we were trying to do earlier. Cooper's going to have to have a go now. It's a great shot. <laughs> I saw the shot. I didn't think he'd execute it. Just pick your route now. Pick your pattern. Yeah, I'd take, I'd take this one. This top right, middle, top right. I'm coming down for block. Just drop this in. Leave the one into the middle. Nice, nice controlled shot. Might even want to land a touch low on this. Could be a bit straight. Just screw it. He needs to screw this back off one cushion. No, but he had enough angle to stun it down. Nice control shot, that. Perfect on the block. Thought it was straighter. I thought he was having to screw back. Tapping table. A bit of emotion there.
nine seven Cooper. Cooper's made off his brick. Yellow's in play. Oh, I got, sorry, I got the wrong way. Chance for camp away for dish. He's got to pot this now and land on rail. Oh, he's missed it. Campo struggling now, really struggling. Obviously, Cooper needs two here, I think. It's a good spot as long as it don't go f between the two reds. Well, I don't think it will. He's been unlucky if he has. No. He's going off three cushions then. That it looks a ridiculous one to get out of on this view anyway. Off the jaw, I like it. I think you've got to pot the yellow. I think you've got to play the plant. Try and get your red in between black and pocket. Look, it's not what he wanted, but it works. And that is just disgusting to get out of. Lack the pace, just turned away. He need, he need, he needs Campo needs to leave. Oh, he don't Campo obviously don't want to leave him, but Coop wants to be able to get get that yellow out. And it's hard to get it out to be honest. This nice little tactical frame. Or don't know if he went for pot them or not, but um, it's very inoffy for Campo. It's a good eight. I'd play this now down all, all the way down the, the cushion to the bottom right. Doesn't hurt being there, to be honest, but I was leaving him these easy one cushion escapes. Not that time, though. I think he's going to have to keep balling. <laughs> I think the shot's ball in hand and play the plant. Because you've got the insurance of where the black is. So you take the yellow off the table, the red's over there. You have a go at them. If you don't get them, the black's dead on bottom. 
you, you should have enough balls to, to be able to put him in an horrible spot. Get a free shot, get the block out. But looks like he's just going to leave the, the yellow where it is, I think. The problem he's got is it's hard to get the yellow away from the pocket. So obviously that red's not nice near the black at the same time. Problem is, if he moves the black and Campo does get that yellow but bad, Campo's now favourite. I think the shot's the plant. I think the shot is the plant. Or oh, double the red out. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you should be backing yourself to get these, really. Probably preferred the black to be more towards bag, to be honest. Because if you do break out of position here, if you, as long as you leave the, the cue ball on the left-hand side of the table, on the cushion, you're not really leaving Campo a pot. Yeah, but you should back yourself to get these, really. Depends how confident he can take this in our over black towards the black bag, tip right. Or he can play the one into the top, top right. Very good pot. It's a bonus if this uh, goes past the yellow bag. It's got to leave yourself a nice angle though, you want to. Not sure if this will go by or not. No, it don't go by on that angle, but might be able to get it over at bag. Yeah, a bit like that. If there's ever a time to play a skilly, now's the time because they look nice. <laughs> to me, they look very nice for the skilly. Obviously, you lose frame if you don't get it. He played the other day against me and he got it. This That's <laughs> that's a scandalous touch. That is scandalous. I've seen war crimes le less awful than that. What was that was held perfect for Skilly. I would have played Skilly. Yeah. Paul needs to be done for war crimes for stuff like that. That would disgust him. There won't really much of a way out of that. I think you take ball in hand here, and I think you put red over black bag, the one near middle. But yeah, this. Why would you throw it frame away? Because I'd nail that skilly like nine times out of ten. And then I win the frame. I would have potted yellow me by accident if I played that safety. That's nice. Honestly, that's the skilly were perfect then, honestly. I would have really fancied that skilly. But look, played it his way and it worked out for him. Honestly, was I can tell you nine times out of ten, if I play that shot he played, I would knock that yellow in. I can promise you, I would knock that yellow in. He played it disgustingly well. Got a bit of swag about him now, really. I expected him when he got two the first time to take him out, but he's got a bit of a spring in his step now. Score should update in a sec. 
to 10 7. I think that all come down to Campo missing um, a Brett dish, didn't he? he? Missed that yellow. The yellow, what was obviously he's been butchered on. It's another dry Brett. Yeah, six one down to ten seven up. Campo on yellows. Hiding earlier. Smart shot. Yeah, yellows are a decent favourite in this frame, I'd say. Red, red's a, red's a toe in here. I think he's got to play. No, he's obviously not in it. He's not coming to clear up in one visit. Too good, Campo. I think he just tried to bump that down there. I thought he might have just played these two yellows out. Obviously, then they're a finish on, but obviously thinks he's got a lot of time here. But now, I don't think that red goes, but I think the yellows are set as a plant, though. But Red's now got a very live chance in this frame from uh, from that red popping out. And he's definitely got a spring in his step now. Might have jinxed him then. It's not the worst missing world, but thought oh, Campo might thought he might have tried to take the other bag, to be honest. Thought he might have played the one into the middle and then played onto Yellows, took control of that bottom bag. It definitely don't go now. Say that it might go to bottom left if he can somehow land near side on it. Yeah, Campo's definitely just going to take this bag now. Mm, I don't know if it did go near side. Looked pretty butchered to me. Left it into middle now, though. Nice shot. What you say now was if you can get on that bottom red skilly this time. See, that's settled perfect for one as well. Perfect. But it's not a shot he's confident. I, I know myself. It, it did one against me over days. Oh, I'm not. I said, play it skilly. He went, don't fight. I don't like skillies. And he absolutely nailed it. I said, it's the first one, I, first one I've ever made. <laughs> so he can do them. Just not, not a shot he's confident with. You'd have to fancy yellows from this spot here. Don't want to go behind the black. Nice little flick there. I don't think this sets as a plant, to be honest. He's got to put a bit aside. He's, just, he's playing a snooker. Yeah, the one set as a plant, then. Look, the finish is on here. Drop the one in. Got to play the skilly. Because if you fail here, he's got to use a shot if the red stays over at bag. I think that yellow's dead. Unless he plays it off it now. 
Yeah, that's a good shot. As long as it doesn't go in off. Negative, but I know. I'm not, I can't play skill as me, mate. Can't, can't, can't do that. So just queue through it. Like that ball's not even there. Shot. It's been unlucky. Been very unlucky. Can't see that top ball. Very well. Like, can't play it. Can't play it. Absolutely nailed it. Landed plum on black. Like, can't play it. Said it's first one I've ever made. Clever shot. Campo's going to stick him behind black, I think. So as long as he can't see that top ball. Has he got the touch to be able to put in behind the black? Nah, he's just going to play him in a similar position as he was before. Nice little tactical exchange, this. Very good shot from Campo. I like that shot. Tried to kill Blacker's insurance and not leave him a pot on. I think you've just got a fl flick thin. I like these shots. Bit of, bit of right inside, thin off this red behind it. Or again, he could just put him in a similar position. Black's obviously covering it middle bag. You are leaving doubles though then. He's obviously left it long into the top. So if he pulls it off, it's a good shot. Coop will be disappointed he's not on this red, but I don't think he'll be going for one at the top. I think he'll just flick off this. a bit of a thinking oh well that black's a bit dead and the red's a bit dead good luck with two shots do comes all you want if you want well I'm going to be here at her, but when I'm, when I'm saying your dad's a bad player don't be getting mad I know, I'm only joking anyway. Do you want a microphone? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not What? I need some batteries then if you want a mic. Unless this is good. No, it's not good. This one. Put, do it, but oh, you've got batteries. Right, stop saying bad things about Campo. Lex is here now. <laughs> it's gone on here. I missed it now. There's the white. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was middle bag. 11-7 now. Your dad was six foot up. His head's fallen off. How? What do you mean, Jamie? I miss, I miss what's just happened. What happened, Jamie? Your head. No. A bit close to your head, though. Apples. Is it even on? Yeah. Say hello then to your fans. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's on. <laughs> 27 views. <laughs> Is it T chat? Yeah, we'll look at that another. Is that your drink? Yeah, yeah, it's mine. Do you want me to move it? Yeah. Why are you going to knock it over? No, I just can't see the chat. 
Jamie said Howell. We were setting Lexi's mic up, so missed miss what would happen, Jamie. Oh, backwards. So that was Coo that was Cooper's break, and he potted, so it won't dry. He's got a bit of swag about him now, manner. Yeah. She's wriggled away in. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, is that Matt Brooks? I thought, yeah. thought I, I, I've seen him. I recognise him. I just couldn't yeah. think of what his name was. He plays like that, though, don't you think? Yeah, if Matt were 20 stone lighter and 20 <laughs> years younger, yeah. For eight double, what? End at last frame, it was. So co take control of that bag there. Is it when Campo missed that um, that yellow, Jamie? Threw his arm a little bit. He's just he's struggling, Campo. He set off really well. Set off well, and he's just he's struggled. Once Cooper got firing, it's kind of like put a bit of pressure on him, and he's kind of struggling. He looks a bit out of his comfort zone at the moment. But look, he's only four frames. He's only four frames behind. At least Seamus won two frames. Oh, what in so? 14 2. Oh my. He's going to be playing Steve Joad, isn't he? <laughs> Struggling in this frame as well. I think Cooper will just take this bag. The Texas bag is massive, massive, massive favourite for this frame. Oh, I know, it's so fast. Yeah, but your dad's got to take balls off table and he needs balls on table. It depends if that yellow at the top goes. Oh, yeah. his I know, he's, he's chasing stuff and he doesn't normally chase like this. He wouldn't have usually like that so hard, is he? He's trying to force it, isn't he? Mm. He could have just rolled the middle one in and just covered it back with that yellow. Man is in absolutely no rush in this frame now. Campo's got to pull a worldy off to, to get in this frame, to be honest, like this. He's going to try and have a go here to try and cover, move that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They're not just not there, but got a proper manipulate cue ball to get into that. Well, when you when when you six one up and then you're eleven seven down, your head will go. Yeah. Happens for it. It looked it looked really comfortable to start with. I thought I thought uh, Manor looked a bit at six one down. He looked a bit like your dad is now. Do you know things won't go yeah, into having yeah. to try and force things and. And then he's won, he won six in a row and that were it. Mm. He was swagging again and then your dad's like thinking I need to win a frame and it's it's, hor it's horrible when you when you can't win a frame. Yeah. Your dad takes bag here. What's it? Mm. He'd rather have Would have been better, yeah. Would have been better Unless he played skilly. Mm. As long as that's not touching jaw, it might be worth a skilly. Yeah, he could skilly that. Yeah. Be thinking about it now. Skill is the shot. You need to get it. It is though. the shot. Oh, if, if you don't get it, you lose the frame. If he's not happy with angle, he can play this yellow first and then get a, a nicer angle on it. But I think he, I think he, no, he's not, he's not going for it. Tell him what to do. <laughs> Easy watching though, innit? Yeah, 
he's got to go now. Should get these to Well, there. actually, he's not landed great on that, so he might not go now. He might just flick this over bag. He's in control. He doesn't have to go until he lands perfect on that top ball. He doesn't really have to go. I know it sounds daft when you've got two over bag and this, but no, I, I, I don't think he'd go. Just for every chance, he might hamper himself on that top red. Yeah, he could. And to be fair, he wants these over at bottom because when he when he does take the top red, this is why he done it. It's kind of forced him to play it now. Because at least he's got the insurance of these two balls in case he, because he's uh, there's a good chance we're going to flick him for yellows. At least for two now you got. Well, he's played it really well. Oh yeah, no, he will get yeah. those. If I jinx you, I'm sorry. <laughs> just play it plain ball. Just pop up a couple of inch. A bit like that. Well, great white sharks out of building. <laughs> you horrible man. I know. I know. Wow, he's missed the block. Oh, wow. Double or quits? <laughs> <laughs> Seamus lost 50. He hadn't even finished the scoreboard off. <laughs> this is going to be a steal for your dad, though. I he, he missed the block. Yeah, it cost me, doesn't it? Steve Gouard's 15 2. Manner wise words said he got he had a lot of run and got lucky. But one fifteen two. I think I think he means uh, Seamus got I think it means Seamus got lucky to win two. <laughs> Steve might have gone in a front black one. Yeah. I got lucky. I love that. He won fifteen two and I got lucky. To be fair, Owen and Jason Bell's game, that's a good game. Twelve nine. Me. They're both in your black ball league. Are they? On Monday night, yeah. Two on one. <laughs> I can't get on that page anymore. I've been deleted off it. Is yeah. Are you in it? Cause no, because I'm not in it. He's deleting oh. me off page. That's why, yeah. I can't even get on league tables or oh. I wanted to see how people were doing. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, I just obviously can't commit to it in summer. Yeah. And who wants to play pool in summer? Unless aircon's on. At least Phil's not here, he won't turn aircon on. Windows are open. Yeah, but Phil, windows <laughs> windows are letting hot air in. <laughs> yeah, but you can't have aircon if wind well shut windows then. That were a good shot. Well, I've done done them for about four frames, yeah. when I remember. The, these I've are not the worst. Really. These are not the worst for a dish. But he should be, th in his head, he'll be thinking, I should be 12-7 up here. We a good chance yeah, here. Yeah. Lee, what's happened to your man? Very quiet. <laughs> nice shot. Which one are you taking, Lexi, middle or bottom? I'm taking bottom, me. I'm, I'm yeah, taking this. Yeah, oh. Nice flick. That's in it how you can miss that block and then say he gets mm. this dish now. It's like yeah. mental, isn't it? I don't think that red goes bottom left, but it does go bottom right. Mm. And you are kind of, you're kind of going on a line where you're going to hit the, the rail and, and maybe kill it into the yellow to alter that other red. Oh, it's just a jar of it, but look, as long as it gets some legs. Mm. If he took the bag, it wasn't too bad. But your dad's got a chance here because he plays this plant. If this plant goes, then he can go get onto the bottom ball first. Say that black could be a massive momentous shift. That's alright. No, that's perfect. 
drop this in, drop one into the middle. The only problem is obviously those two yellows don't go into the strike bag, but they're going every other bag. Just now he's going to struggle to get on them, you know, like low. They might have to play the one to top right first, or this one long top left. Did you get it? Yeah, because he's going to finish top side of this. No. Missed it. He struggled with his long pots like that today. Depends if he's on this red. If he's on the red to the left, he's laughing. That's nice. Floated it in. Now he just got a anywhere in the middle of the table, really. It's fat sound. Safest option that was to come back on that line. You're always leaving yourself a shot, won't you? a nice block so after a missed opportunity last frame he's took them well is his dad still there no, no. Norris is no. he gone no, no I saw he was sat down there really yeah, ages ago well I don't know I've been sat in here <laughs> been sat in this little compartment it's a long way back for your dad here yeah. He's got to win basically 7-2. Sev it's a big ask, isn't it? Well, he's won 6-1, hasn't he? Yeah, but he's also, oh. he's also lost 9-1. Oh, yeah. 10-1 or something. No, 10-1. 10-1? Ten ten oh, 10 7 down, wasn't he? 10-1. Oh, no, he won 1-1. Won, won, uh, he lost 9-1. But these look very nice. I would have preferred yellows to be fair. Can't find mine. Where's the first one? It's over there somewhere. I can't see it then. Oh, I'm on the screen, that's why. There we are, here. That's a good <laughs> exhibition stuff now. He's been unlucky, really, because he hasn't really landed on the ball, I don't think. Well, they were pulling faces, but it looks yeah. plumb on it, to be fair. Yeah. Really. They were pulling faces, that's all. Uh, Cooper's in five now. Yeah, no, because he, 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 he got moved down to six, but then when Catalyst got moved, um, got lost, he got moved back to five. Yeah. But he was in six, not long back. Black's, black's tricky because it do not go in either middle. It do not go in bottom right, and I can't see if it goes in bottom left. Potentially, yeah. Makes it easy to. Obviously, black do not go where he wants to. It's a beautiful shot. He might have landed wrong side, though. Yeah, he has. He's over screwed. He might be able to manipulate. Yeah. Stun. He had a little bit of angle to stun it. I'll say I didn't know if it went because it don't go in either middle. It don't go in long left. It only went in top right. And not obviously here. Is it for a dish this? So. Reverse reverse dish. <laughs> don't tweak it. Oh wow. It must have been tight. So, Probably. your dad's massive, massive favourite for this now. I'd hit that off Kush and come up here with white. Wow. I've never seen him miss one like that. He was honestly was such a big favourite. That, where, that, where that black's ended up, he was such a big favourite. He needs to play first now. Like. Oh, I will now, but that black now. Oh, he's going for it. Well, he has because it's a big bag with yeah, where yellow is. He's on his bad ball now. Yeah, and then that bag's got bottom and it's big bag with black. Jesus. Yeah, he's all right. Big bag. If Cooper got that in or over, though, your dad would be Well, not really. In oh, that's all right. Skill it. Nah. This nah, is, that this doesn't skill it. <laughs> it does, but it's very hard. you got to play with the left hand side. It's not easy, that. I know. 
the beer seems to be out now though, so go. It won't go. It won't go. He's got no. Yeah. He's got no reason to go. That that ri that black's as dead as it could be. They do all go though. He is off for it though. Mm. Do we need to put fans? He's off for it. Put fans. We're all twenty-eight nice. fans. He's not off, but. Why we're going in there? He's left across double though. He has left across double. Uh, it's a very hard cross not, double. Yeah, very, not, very hard. Uh, that's rolled off. That? No. no, that's rolled off a mile, that. I thought he might have just whacked yeah. it cross double, mate. Yeah, I probably would have gone for a cross double. You would have got I it as well. I love cross doubles. Problem what? <laughs> but he'd have to hit the black hard. He'd have to hit the white hard. And both would have been moving. They probably would have yeah. double kissed coming off bottom at side. Mm. Doesn't matter though, he can take he can work his way around these. Mental like you go for a dish it's the only problem. You go for a dish, don't you? You've written down on black. Yeah. Oh god. I didn't want that. Oh, yeah, I was thinking that. If that goes. No, he's he's alright, he's alright, he's just gotta play a good position shot here. Mm, I would I would I would have took I would have tucked up. Need to play fair, because if you get off cut you move white and it's just to uh, get out of here. I would have took all the ball, to be honest. That's great. It's not bad, but he's left. He's left a double. I oh, know he must have got. He's got a total. Yeah. Your dad won't go for this. He'll put this over top bag, I think. Top bag and put cue ball left hand side at table. Towards top left. Unless he wants to put this in. Yeah, double works. Only problem is you are leaving the cut. And at level, the, the more, at this level, the more than capable of knocking this in. Yeah, I think he's got to go for it. Get it no. No, he's turned down. No, it's a good shot. Cause look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good shot. Very good shot. That's the difference, though. These are these these level. The C shots. Yeah. Like we, we say, oh, we've got a chance of winning yeah, the frame in yeah. one go. And we just not, we go off. Like if I knock this pot in, I win. But if I you miss it, you lose. Yeah, I no. would. <laughs> That's a good. No. It's no. Not. You see that blacky fluked earlier? What, my dad? Yeah. Nah. It was snoo, it was totaled. He went to double it out, missed it. It hit it on backside in, hit it on a right thin long angle into the bottom right bag. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, your dad's just not on it, is he, tonight? He's a lot better than what he's shown, on it. Yeah. But Manor's a lot better as well. He's done some very good stuff, Manor, but he just he, he still hasn't been at his very best, you know what I mean? Yeah. These two at the best would be a really, really, really good game. They're on about having a big pot, these two, at one point. Really? Have you listened to TikToks? That's a lie, you've got no money. <laughs> Campo playing pot, bigger pot. Here, look, Chris, the um, man has offered him a bigger pot anyway, so um, I don't think he, I don't think he is. Um, man has offered him a three grand pot. It's plenty big enough for like, these two, but they never, never sorted it out in the end. It's supposed to be six months ago that pot was supposed to be played, but for commitments on either side with work and family it never happened not doing bad are you playing well you lost oh it was 13 <laughs> I, I, I was thinking oh you're not doing bad i thought it was 15 tommy sorry enjoyed it that's it as long as you've enjoyed it tommy that's the main thing Yeah, well, um, he had another game. As he ended up having to play Stu, but it was spo originally supposed to be in Campo, and there was someone else. But then Stu were like a bit of a last-minute thing. Can't, I can't remember what the other one was. But yeah, he ended up having to play Stu. What? Yeah, Maguire, I think, it might have been. Yeah, he was supposed to have a game with Colin Maguire at some yeah, point. Adam, yeah, it must be Adam Lee as well, wasn't it? Adam Lee, yes, Adam Lee was the game. Chris, Tommy, how do you know all this stuff? Because Adam Lee and that were meant to play. 
Yeah, we're supposed to be at Chris. He was supposed to be playing Adam Lee. Is this for a ditch? What, you having a rematch? Yeah. Really? Did you play well? I just won the chances. Did you? Yeah. I saw you flew through. Not like you to miss any easy chances. Just whack them and then get to the next round. Nah, Tommy don't miss easy chances. You don't whack out, do you? You play for every shot you ever the play. The only shots I watched you just whack them and fluke them. Delicate little stun off the, the side here. Do you, remember, do you remember when I beat you? It's a great shot. Two stars. I think he's gonna firmly. slip. You think he'll miss this flat for a dish? He's missed two. No. He haven't missed that one. That's really? a good finish. What? You gave me a tenner when I won. That's yeah, tenner. Well, that were a nice finish. Yeah. yeah. Any, I any you were going. Have any of the fans on chat got any Q and A's for Tommy Hamilton whilst he's here? The ma the man, the myth, the legend, helping her. Uh, Old bloke today, were you? On bus. Yeah, yeah. Nice little story. Yeah. No, it was a nice story. Put on I thought it was Jay Cart Cartwright writing it at first, but then I realised it was you. <laughs> Do you know who Jay Cartwright is? Yeah. I didn't know if you'd get that bit of humour. Tommy shouting at people saying the racks are on. <laughs> Owen oh, 14 10 up on table six. Uh, the one not in the blue top. <laughs> I can't, I only saw him in, but Owen's the other one, not the, the light ahead one. Is he, is he brothers with um, Sean then? He's his dad. So Sha oh. Sean and Owen's dad, and do you know Daz Bell? Daz Bell. Yeah. Daz Bell, who plays. That's Daz Bell's son in the blue. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So Daz Bell and Sean Ann's sons. They're getting, here. Yeah, they get, they're improving all the time, them two. Play a lot of tasks with good players. Yeah. Nick Fishers and um, yeah. Reese Wilson. Yeah, he, he set off slow today, Chris Cooper. He was six one down, he, he was missing some some balls he wouldn't look, miss, um, but he's really he's really dug in and he's playing well. To be fair, but honestly, both of these players have not been at the best today. Six months ago, Cooper were playing really well, and then he went into that Stu game. Things didn't go his way. Stu played well. No excuses on Cooper's side, but uh, going in, he he did he was playing so well going into that game. I fully expected him to beat Stu, but Stu really played well and fair play to Stu. Uh, so Daz Bell's a cat five. Um, but I'd say he were, he's an old, so he's played EPA. He played, started playing black ball a couple of years ago. What he's getting into. No, he's, he's good. He's, he's um, a very, very solid five. If not, you're walking back, mate. Walking. Walking to Bristol. So that's a foul oh there by Campo. He tried to play it skilly. Like Tommy, Tommy's never looked like a weirdo. Have you, mate? Whoa, whoa. Actually, with those headphones on, you do look a bit. <laughs> you do look a bit. This is a random guy with headphones on. You're going to walk, time gonna walk around in public with them on your head? <laughs> Jesus. You'd get your steps in even without your headphones on, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I like to listen to some music. Well, oh, you get your steps in at work, don't you? Busy man at work, aren't you? What do you do? Work. Really? Slash floor staff. Yeah. Slash cleaner. Slash top. Top stud. <laughs> but yeah, Daz Bell. I think Daz Bell's very, very solid five, if not upper five. Very, very good potter. Very, but he's got an EPA brain. Right, see you, Tommy, mate. Safe journey. See ya. I thought that was Jeff Allen. Jeff Allen. I thought that was Jeff Allen. Mate. What, in the green hoodie? Yeah. <laughs> Your eyes all right. <laughs> the first time. Yeah, look, we've missed all action now. Tommy's been here. He's got to finish here to win it. 
and he's landed long, wrong side. Again, though, he might not be. He might, he might be able to screw. He'll be able to screw back anyway. He's overscrewed it. Adrenaline. Still cuts though. Still cuts, and I think he's top top side at draw. Yeah, just a bit of adrenaline, then which screw shot, but it, it, it ran, landed straight on that last last yellow, but Baggy wanted to land top side to float down from yeah. middle. He, ca he kind of landed a bit unfortunate where he was, really, where he probably the worst place could have landed. Neither. He's got a good wipe, though. I don't He's like a thin, thin chop, but this is thin, like. Where is it? Is it bottom bag? Oh. No, it's not. Imagine the fluke, but wait. I'd take a fluke for 200 quid. Anyone would. It's not a Yeah, he's off for these, so he's obviously going to now. He's not like the best of angle to get on this plant. Because if he misses plant, he's, it's game over. Yeah. I, I thought he might have played safe, me. But no, he's off for it. He has to get it, though. I know. He's got a good white. He's got a good white, though. He has got... Why did she get this? That doesn't cut. It does. That's an hard... That is ridiculous. That doesn't oh, cut. Nice. That does not <laughs> cut. That looks worse now. If he can cut that, he ain't a cat five. He's having a go, though. Cat four. No, so that he can he can uh, he can I go for the cut because he's gonna Told you. <laughs> How was he cut that in? That never looked like it cut. From the other angle. It was good though because it, it was like if you think about it, it cuts it towards bag, it's in or over. The white's off top end of the table, it's a shot to note. So it will it was the right shot anyway, but I didn't think he could cut that in. That's a hell of a black to win it. That's not five now. No, he's a cat five. <laughs> no, he's always <laughs> definitely a cat five, honestly. Yeah, definitely. It's a fair game. Cam, Cam, Campo's mm, played. Yeah, uh, yeah. Last time they played, Campo won. Yeah. Well, I'm Please saying Campo, your dad, your dad won. But no, it's yeah, been a good game. Look, no, your dad set off six one. I thought, oh, I thought he's in for a paste in here, but he's just got going and played well. So 15 eight, that's a massive result, what? Surprising, Matt Brooks. Sorry, man. You give him a minus. He started on minus two, Matt Brooks. So it'd be 12 oh, seven off stretch. Dear. Yeah. yeah. So right, hope it you've enjoyed tonight. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. still games on the table six and eleven. So yeah, hope to see you all soon. Enjoy your evening. See ya. Lexi says bye.